In this video, we're going to cover the last of our main five concepts, and that is using PHP functions. Basically, everything that doesn't fit into the other four concepts fits into functions. If you are connecting to a database, you're going to use a series of functions. If you're formatting strings, validating emails, you're going to use a series of functions. So in this example, we're going to continue with our theme of looping through data. Uh, this time, we're going to use a series of programming books that, that are available on chapters. So I've taken the names, the prices, and the descriptions and put those into a PHP array. Now, we're going to use the concepts learned from the previous examples to loop through those records and display that content. So this time, we're going to add two functions to our loop to make sure our data looks nice and clean and visually appealing and consistent. We're going to add one function that will take the rating of our books and convert it from a plain number to a nice visual representation using stars. Second, we want to make sure all of our prices are showed consistently and properly. So we're going to create a basic function that just takes a price, make sure it's displayed with a dollar sign and with the proper number of decimal places. In the GitHub repository, we have a file called functions that will give us a starting point. So we'll just quickly review this file before we get started. We have a multi-dimensional array defined storing our book information. Each book has a name, a URL to the chapters page to purchase that book, an image of the book, a description, a rating, a price, and a sale price. We have a loop that currently just loops through our books array and outputs the book name using an H2 tag. And then finally, we have some debugging code here. This just takes our books array and, and displays the whole variable contents using the printr function into our browser. So the printr function would never be used in a final product. It's just a, a, a PHP function to help debug and, and see what's inside a complex variable. If we look at the browser, you can see we have our three book titles, and then we have the array from our printr function just displayed in our browser so we can see the whole array content. So we want to take the rest of our array content and display that using our loop. Now, before we start, we're gonna add two functions. I'm going to create a function here called format price. This function is going to take a price and just ensure that it's formatted using a nice consistent and proper format. So this function is going to be nice and short. It's just going to take the number, prefix it with a dollar sign, and then use the PHP defined number format function to take our number, format it with two decimal places, and return that from our function. Second, we want to add another function. This is going to take our rating. and convert it from a plain number to a nice visual representation using stars. So I'm going to create a variable called HTML and start it off as nothing. Then I'm going to create a loop. I'm going to run that loop using the total parameter from our function. The total parameter is what the rating is out of. So if the rating is three out of five, then total would be five. Then I'm going to display either a empty star or a filled in star based on the rating. So if the rating is greater than our counter, we want to display a full star Otherwise, we're going to display an empty star. 
To display a full star, we're going to use the HTML entity ampersand hashtag 9733. That is the special character for a filled in star. And for the empty stars, we're going to use the HTML special character 9734. And then finally, at the end of our function, we're just going to return the HTML that that function created. Now that our functions are created, let's just output all of our content. So we've outputted the book name. Let's output our link. the description the image and now our price now when we output our price let's start by just displaying our regular price so I'm going to create a paragraph I'll put the word price and I'm going to use our price format function to take our book price and format it using a dollar sign and the proper number of zeros. And I just have that function name backwards. That should be format price. And now our ratings. So now I'm going to echo another paragraph. And I'm going to pass in my rating. And our rating is out of five. So our total is five. So if I save that and refresh, so there's our book title, our link, description, image, our price, which is well formatted. And where we have our rating, we are getting an error. So I just have an error here that says undefined variable our book. So somewhere in my code, I just spelled my book variable wrong. And if I refresh, there we go. So there's four out of five, three out of five, and five out of five. So my rating function is properly converting our number and our total to a visual representation. Now, before I finish, we still have to deal with our sale price. So if there is a sale price, I want to display the sale price. And I want to display the old price and cross it out. So I'm just going to use the strike tag. I'm still going to format the old price. And close my paragraph. So now if, if I refresh my page, you can see my sale prices here with the crossed out regular price. I could also quickly change this to red. Now the strike and the red I would probably do with CSS, but for this example, let's just do it in plain HTML. 
And now if I refresh, when there's a sale price, we get our sale price in red and the original price. Now if I scroll up, some of these do not have a sale price. So you can see we're getting a problem here and a warning when we call our number format function. So to fix that, I just want to take my two prices and if there is a sale price, I can just use a basic if statement. I'm going to display the sale price format, otherwise the regular price. So I can move our regular price into my else and my sale price into my if statement. And now if I save and refresh, okay, there's my sale price without the regular price code showing. There's my regular price without the sale price code. And again, my sale price without the regular price.